Hey everyone, it's time for another White Gloves of Destiny. That's awful. Destin Sandlin from Smarter Every Day, one of the best YouTube channels in the world, is here at the Royal Society and he is going to do our lucky dip into the card catalogue. Close your eyes. Okay. And what you'll do is you can go anywhere you want and feel your way around. Well, oh, hang on, no, he's... So, you like that draw? Uh, well, that's what my closed eyes self says. No, that's what the gloves have told you. The gloves have told me. Now, do I have to keep them closed? Keep them closed, and then you've got all the way to the back and all the way to the front, you can feel there are lots, see, there are lots of cards here. Okay, lots of cards. You have to choose the card. The individual card. You going there? This is the one. That's what we've got. Reports by Lord Rayleigh and lay on his paper on the action of light and die stakes? We have another tradition here on the White Gloves of Destiny, and that is you get to have a provisional, a backup, okay, in case you got a dud. Shut your eyes again. Okay. Not this draw. Oh, interesting. Interesting draw. Interesting draw. In <laughs> Let's see. Um, this is the card right here. Yeah, the right. gloves have spoken. You've gone into the Herschel draw. Ooh. What's it say? The events at Cambridge has a paper by the Koshi, Kaushi. I don't know how to say that. I know he's a math guy. Koshi for him has met Davy and discussed Babbage's machine. Babbage is celebrated in verse. Babbage is celebrated in verse? That's pretty good. <laughs> Do you want a, a song? Poetry? Do we have oh, to wait, sing? Well, let's see. So, firstly, we need to find this referee's report. So, let's okay. go down that way. And a referee report is like, uh, it's like peer review, right? That's exactly what it is. So, the paper would be sent out to referees and uh, the referee would comment on whether something was worth publishing or not. So... Surrounded by science. In here. Okay. okay. Am I allowed to... Yes, you take that. So, what you have here is a volume of... Looks like 1896 for the most part. 1896. Tight. Yep. That's the year of the first ever Olympics. In modern times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you picked 185. This is really interesting because it's from 10 Downing Street. Oh, wow. Okay. What? That's, it's a pretty big yep. deal. So of course, 10 Downing Street, Whitehall is the residence of the Prime Minister these days. I mean, I thought everything that you pick it, it we're with the white gloves <laughs> well, of that, destiny there we go. They, would they, do they, that. This is Lord Rayleigh who's writing a referee's report at the time. He's using 10 Downing Street Notepaper. It looks like a napkin, like they were having a conversation and he's like, oh, well, let me let me just tell you, these are my notes, take it with you. Yeah, yeah. You're not recording this, are you, Destin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I looking at Wikipedia when I've got Wikipedia right here? I know, yeah, yeah. I can't get any reception down here, Brady. <laughs> Since 1905. 1905, ah, right. So, so this, this, was, this, this was the Prime Minister's house before it was the Prime Minister's yep, house. Yep, yep. So, 10 Downing Street, not yet the Prime Minister's residence. It's still a private house at this point. Oh, really? Point. How did you know that, Keith? Yeah, I, it's just talent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> however, the science, we assume, is here. So this is about green on the action of light. Let's drop Destin in it and let's see how good he is at reading old-fashioned handwriting. Okay, good do point. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have no chance of reading that. Of... Optical? Yeah. You can read this? Uh, I can read some of it, yeah. I mean, Rayleigh's hand is, is pretty horrible, I have to admit. What's the feeling, guys? Have we got a winner here? Or are we going to go for our provisional? I think we might need the provisional. I here. think we might need the provisional. Downing Street is good, but we can't discern whether they're deciding to publish the paper or not. I think they are saying publish the paper with corrections in that case. I want to see Babbage in verse. Yeah, let's do, it. Yeah. <laughs> let's do ba Babbage in verse. Let's do yeah, it. Let's find another one. So this huge set of papers is all Sir John Herschel's. These are letters to Herschel with some of his correspondence as well. And we have diaries in this sequence too. Wow. HS2 Can you is... imagine somebody doing this with all of your emails when you die? Yep. Herschel 2, this entire volume is Charles Babbage's correspondence. Babbage and Herschel, of course, great friends. So let's see your particular letter in here. So this wow. would be like just the emails between you and I, Destin? <laughs> Only... On a different level, I think, Brady. <laughs> 183, here we are. Is this the original or a copy? This is the original, yeah. And someone has penciled in a date here, 4th of March, 1823. So let's have a look at the whole thing. I'm impressed that you can read this. You can see that it's addressed to Charles Babbage, 5 Devonshire Street, Portland Place in London. Here's Herschel's signature. 
So JFW Herschel, and it looks like St John's, so he's at college, we assume. Start Dear Babbage. Here we go. Someone has been circulating a squib, so it's a funny verse, uh, mm -hmm. satirical, in which occur the following lines. So then we hope to see problems and questions which balk all us, solved by the aid of the integral calculus. When civilised, savage, Oxonian and Hottentots shall set up the D's instead of those rotten dots. When Peacock and Babbage from Cam to the Indus shall glance in their glory from booksellers' windows. Huh. Not the finest poetry ever written, I think we can all agree, but uh, this is when Herschel and Babbage and George Peacock, who's one of their great friends, were working on new mathematics at Cambridge. He's celebrating the democratization of math because he's saying, look, this new type of math with yeah. D's is going, and so anybody can do it. Yeah, and, and these are the guys who are championing it. When Peacock and Babbage... From Cam, Cambridge, uh -huh. to the Indus, shall glance in their glory from booksellers' windows. So they're, they're going to write a book about this and it's, it's going to make, make them famous. So this is a pat on the back in a really big way. He's like, hey, bro, I know what you've done is huge. And other people are just starting to get wind of the fact that what you did was huge. And you're going to bring math to the people. That's right. I mean, these are two young men making their way in the world and in science. And, they're, they're, you know, Herschel's congratulating him, I think. That's pretty cool. So there we go, everyone. There's another White Gloves of Destiny from Destin himself. How are you feeling about it, mate? Good. They worked their magic all on their own. Well, thank you, Keith, for helping us out yet again. Thank you, Destin. And coming in on a Saturday. Keith came in on a Saturday, but Destin came all the way from Alabama, so that's a really special effort. Just for, thanks for wearing the shirt, Brady. Oh yeah, I've got my Alabama shirt. So thank you to Destin. And if you've never seen his channel, Smarter Every Day, there'll be links on the screen and in the description. Really worth a watch. Cheers, man. Thank it was you. a blast, thanks. All right. That was cool. These are very simple things, as you can see. They're hand-blown glass, so you have this little wedge on the end where the glass has been snapped off. And you might just be able to see there are some labels on these ones and some little printed stamps too. Now these date from the 1890s, so they're pretty early ones, and you might just be able to read that. Can you can, can I, I read Can that? I hold one, Keith? Yes, do. 